Well, good morning, and welcome back to Linda's Pantry. Today, I'm gonna do my weekly garden vlog and give you an update on Miss Shotzi Do. She will be having babies today. And I'm gonna try to video some of that. Um, but we'll see how it goes. She's in preliminary labor, she won't eat. Temperature is down to 98.5 this morning. Hi, here she comes. What are you doing? Michael took the other dogs for a walk, so she's a little stressed about it, but yeah, poor mama dog. Anyway, I gotta show you something. First off, I come out here, we had a Swiss chard in our omelet this morning and um, sauteed it first, it was so good. But I want to show you these beans. Look at these green beans. I know they're not green, they're red. Can you see that? But look at this one. Look at this bean. It's the longest thing I've ever seen. And it's it's about the thickness of a green bean now. It's over a foot long. And these are the, I think they're Japanese red beans. I don't know. They taste wonderful. They taste just like a green bean with a little bit nuttier flavor, I think. But I, I'll show you over here too. And then I'll turn the camera around so you don't have to look at me. But check these out. Look at, look at, look at. This, is that the coolest thing you've ever seen? I mean, and the flowers are weird too. I thought they were gonna have red flowers, but look at the flower right here. That's one of the flowers. They're odd. Like this is one of the flowers and the bees love them. But then they turn into these glorious beans. Can you believe it? So I've got these hanging, oops, sorry. <laughs> I got these hanging off the, off the plant and um, they don't really trellis. But I, I think I want to make sure that I plant these again next year. So, because now I'm prepared for what I'm in for. So, let's turn the camera around and see um, what we've got. Because I've got to pick. Okay, today's going to be busy. I'm canning salsa. Um, I'm also going to can some rhubarb and rhubarb berry jam. I have a. Um, I have a an order for that so I've got three people that want jam uh, so I need to make it anyways and then um, let me take you in the garden okay hold on okay so here we were turned around now this is a plant that I planted this year a bare root but I'm gonna pick some of it the root is obviously very established it's a be beautiful rhubarb plant once again it said it was red and it's not it's it's a green variety. Here's one. Now, obviously, I'm not going to pick off that, but it's a nice, healthy plant, too. We've got tomatillos, and these, I need to pick some more of these. I might put these in my salsa. These have gotten, like, really, really ripe. Um, but I'm probably going to put these in my salsa, too, today. And, oh, I know, Shotzi, I'm sorry. You just lay in the shade till they get back, huh? Okay, so, um... Herbs are all doing great. Been having mint tea. I've got peppers over here I need to pick for my salsa. Woo! I picked tomatoes last night, so you won't see a whole lot of red ones. Um, look at these beautiful peppers. Look at that. And these are hot. Let me just tell you. Hot pepper! Oh yeah. So we might put a couple in there. Um, here, I'll put it there with my tomatillo. And some parsley. I'll put that in my salsa as well. I, I try to utilize whatever I've got in the garden. And we've got zucchini. That's the other thing. I'll be making zucchini bread today. While Shotzi's in labor, I'm going to be busy. Okay, so we've got a big zucchini here. It's not quite as big as I like them, but it's perfect for dinner if we wanted to saute that. And there's one on this plant here, one on this little plant here in the center, and then this Mondo. He's this one's turning into bread today. Zucchini bread. Mm-hmm. And we're doing a blueberry zucchini bread today. So I'll tr I'll try to make a video for you guys. Okay. So the tomato plants are all doing really good. A couple of them have started with some blight issues, but um, you know, like this one over here in the corner. And I, I just can't worry about it. That's why I plant so many. I try to keep them, you know, as you can see, I trim everything up, but sometimes they get it anyway. So, 
and I've got weeds, weeds, weeds in here. But I honestly, I don't even care. I'm not going to stress about it. So here's another tomato I can pick. Just get that out of my way. And the tomatillo plant in the corner is doing really good too. It's starting to bulk up. What do we got here? Oh, it's a little habanero. Look at my habanero. You're going in my stove set today. Yes, you are. My first habanero I've ever grown. Can you believe that? So, okay. Let's go over to... I usually keep the weeds out better, but I just... I'm not, I'm not there this year for whatever reason. Grab my goodies. Um, we've been picking carrots and they're doing fantastic. Let's go over and check out these plants. Look at the green beans. Now that's more like what I'm used to and we should be, I mean they're all flowering, so we should be picking green beans here pretty quick off of these. Between the red green beans and a couple of the bush beans, I've got enough for dinner for sure. So I'm going to pick rhubarb off of this plant today, enough to make that jam. And uh, let's see, see these are beans, I've got the purple green bean, um, which I found they don't produce very many. Oh, this has got a little bitty green bean on it, right here, there's a green bean, yeah, see, little bush beans, bush beans. All of these were planted from seed, so next year I'll be throwing down some seed. This little pepper plant looks great and got a lot of buds on it, but no peppers yet. These are the patio tomatoes. And um, even this is starting to get a little bit of light issue. So I'll, I'll turn that back. Ooh, got a pepper. Okay, got to go in the salsa. Yep, pick that off. No other ones, it's flowering again. But, and these are beets. Um, let's see. Let's see. Okay, so we went over the, um, the carrots and stuff. Okay, so these are potatoes. And Strut has gotten in here a couple of times thinking he was after a critter. But he hasn't heard anything, so he just kind of flattened them down a little. Um, I know, Shotzi, I know. So... Um, we've also got beans on this fence that's vining and oop, tomato let's get that little Roma tiny Roma and it's got blossom end rot so what I need to do is come out here with some bone meal because that means we haven't got enough calcium and this little pepper plant this is supposed to be a habanero but I don't know no color to it yet and I picked tomatoes in here today, but I see a couple more I could actually grab. And here's the tomatillo jungle. Can you, I can't even get it all in the camera. It's taller than I am and just unbelievable how many tomatillos are on here. Look at these. Ooh, see, I could pick that one. There's a couple of them that are really pretty ready. And then there's some in here that are not, but it's just loaded, loaded. And then I've got a little pepper plant in here, but I don't see any. I see a red tomato though in the jungle. Oh my gosh, I gotta get that. Hold on. Okay, so now we're over here at this bed. And look at, I love the way this is coming out. I've got green beans and celery, and you can pick the celery now for the flavor for soups and stock. and carrots and beans that are starting to vine and these tomato plants that I started from seed all three of these have been flowering this one had a cluster and I want to see if I can see or show you like right here there's a whole cluster of flowers the flowers that were they were right in there uh, we got a little bit of, and you know, where they're dropping off, but that's kind of normal for the first flowering. 
but big healthy tomato plants. I'm excited. I've got a couple more tomatoes I picked. And the girlies are, I just gave them a treat. Hi girls. Oh, they're going to meet me at the gate. Hi. Hi girls. Hi. Lucy, you better get to lay in an egg. Come on. She's ready. And um, Aunt B, her comb is getting bigger and so is Hazel. Yes, compared to the other birds. The other two birds are behind, but no eggs yet. Whoa, 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 Lucy. No eggs yet. Gave him some mealworms and we filled the dog tank so when Michael gets back, they will have fresh, clean water. Nice. Um, kale, the never ending kale. I'm kidding you. I picked four or five leaves off of these every single day for the birds, and for the chickens, and for us. And it just keeps on giving. So it's pretty awesome. Somebody was up here. So, raspberries. Oh my gosh, that's a whole nother deal. Cucumbers. I've got little baby cucumbers. We might get a couple, and those are the lemon cucumbers. So I'm hoping we get something. But look at these raspberries. They're just glorious. Mm, I better have one. I need to, well, I watered last night, and I do have um, butternut squash plants here, three of them, and they're flowering. You can see the one down on the end. Mm, yummy. Berries. Berries for breakfast. Mm -hmm. mm, I need to come out and pick. And these, actually, I've got a few, a few weeds in here, too. But raspberries are pretty hardy. They'll, they'll figure out a way to make it. I need to water that tree. There's my flowering butternut squash. Just let it vine everywhere. And, yeah, I got clusters of berries over there second wave is about to begin and we have blackberries but some of these are really dinky look at that some of them were just ginormous some of them were dinky and these want to spread these blackberries want to go somewhere so we may have to figure something else out for them some kind of trellis system so these raspberries are all taller than I am mm, yum Fresh berries right off the vine is so good. Yummy. Okay. Pick a couple more. And I'll close this vlog out for you guys. And try to get this uploaded. Before I start in on my canning. I, I do want to wait till the dogs come back though. Because I know all of you love seeing the dogs jump in the, in the dunk tank. And. Oh, yum. These are handful of berries yummy all right we'll we'll be right back as soon as they get home okay i already missed it dang it sage and strut sage is always the first one in sage is it struts next <laughs> they had a good run and now they're cooling off with the the tank anyway so guys thanks for stopping by I can't wait to see you tomorrow, and I'm going to show you some delicious recipes and some beautiful baby dogs. Oh, bye guys. Okay, so we're still in the middle of it, but we've got five so far. She started labor, hard, you know, good active labor about three hours ago, and she's given us three boys and two girls so far, and she's a good mommy dog. So we'll do the full video. You can see that tomorrow or the next day.